people sending voice messages instead of texting is annoying. Instead of just being able to read your message, I have to find a quiet, private place for me to listen to the message. It's annoying. I understand being too lazy to type, but instead, use speech to text so you can still speak but I can read it like a normal text message. I'll accept your I need to send an audio for this as long as you accept my I can't sit and hear your audio right now. We in the modern world are way too connected. I love my friends, but some days I just don't want to interact. If I send a message, I never expect an instant reply. If I get a message, I'll glance. If it's not urgent, I'll get to it when I get to it and I'd expect anyone else to do the same to my messages. We got our own lives to live. My dad died last year, but I still listen to his voice messages when I want to hear his voice. So it's not all bad. Especially when I have music on. Like no I don't want to stop my music for your goddamn voice note. I personally love voice messages. When I'm in public or something I just use earphones so it's never really an issue for me. I love hearing my friends talk to me while I can just keep doing stuff, whereas when I have to read a message I have to drop everything to stare at my phone for a while. I also send them but only when I'm walking outside or something, so I can watch where I'm going while talking. In general I agree, but it really depends on the message. Some things might be too complicated or too long to write out. When someone sends me an audio message and I don't feel like finding a quiet place or my earbuds then they're getting a late response. If you put me in a position where I have to listen then you're on my time now so sit back and wait. But with that being said there have been times where I use audio messages if I have to send a long monologue. Don't know about other people but it's a lot easier for me to get my point across when I'm allowed to ramble. Text-to-speech only works well when you're speaking perfectly, otherwise it'll be a huge run-on sentence with countless errors. This is a very popular opinion. Is this really unpopular? I thought everyone hated that. Especially if it's a multiple minutes message. Fucking hate it. What's easier for you may be more difficult for someone else. I find it difficult to catch all of what's said asked in a voice note, so end up listening to it several times. Quicker for you to send, takes longer for me to reply. Same, but I also hate when people call me. Just text me instead. Just send a quick reply I'll listen to your message as soon as I'm able. Let me know if it's urgent. Why are so many people in this comment section seemingly not aware that you can just raise the phone onto your ear and it will automatically play the voice message from the ear speaker? You don't need to leave the room or find a quiet place for crying out loud. One of the best things my telco sometimes does is transcribe voicemail into an SMS. If I see these posted on group chat, I don't listen to them. I wish I could upvote this a thousand times. A guy I work with does this because he's dyslexic and really struggles to read and write. This is a popular opinion. People that go to hell immediately are one what you just said, two people who have speakerphone conversation in public play their music for everyone to hear. I hope this is common knowledge. A fake, you can listen to voice notes, at least on WhatsApp and WeChat like you listen in on calls. The message will play automatically through the top speaker if you put it close to your ears. I admit I also prefer texts compared to voice notes, but some people, like my mom types so slow that I prefer that she send a voice note. I'll just press play and put the phone to my ears. I don't respond to voicemails, keeps it super easy. Open voicemail, delete delete delete. Anyone who actually needs to get in contact knows to text or send it officially in the mail. I don't call people back, either. Text me or you can wait until we see each other. I won't even listen to your voicemail, so don't waste time recording one. I prefer it. It's much more efficient. I find it especially annoying when people use voice messages in a group chat discussion where multiple people are participating. By the time you have finished listening to their voice message, the conversation has already moved on. 
so you can't properly react to their argument. Yes I hate voice notes with all the cells of my body it's so goddamn annoying especially when I'm at the office and I don't want to bother co-workers. I have a friend who is severely dyslexic so he sends voice messages instead of spending minutes to tip one sentence that I may not even be able to decipher. I just put the volume really low and put the phone to my ear. It's not that big of a deal. Never understood this until I started going to uni and have people send me almost exclusively voice notes on Snapchat that require me to leave the room to listen to them. I just lost someone close to me and their voicemail is the last way to hear them speak. Huh? Speech to text works well enough on the voice messages. I rarely listen, just read it. I love watching the new generation go through this phase of life now. Used to be a saying God, why can't they just call instead of sending 85 text emails? Us older millennials have so much schadenfreude to look forward to in the coming years. This seems like a very popular opinion to me. I don't know anyone personally who likes voice messages over text messages. I mean headphones exist, but I get it's not appropriate or available sometimes. I only send voice stuff if I'm driving or if I just need to tell somebody something real quick. Usually that thing I need to say is too long to type, but only takes me a few seconds to say out loud. Sometimes a call or voice message can convey information in a few seconds whereas a text combo would take far longer to communicate the same info. Efficiency I'm also not a big fan of it, but the voice memos are very useful for people with dyslexia and I'm sure other cases as well. This is my philosophy voice message for important shit texts for the rest. Bro honestly same. My GF stay sending me them while I'm at work and prefer to just read it over having to stop music podcast to hear it. My text messaging apps will read those voice messages back into text for me. So, I don't even notice unless I look harder at the message or the person mumbles and confuses the algorithm. Oh no, someone wants to communicate with me but they are doing it in an ever so slightly inconvenient way iiy. Controversial opinion if you tell me that you call send a voice message because you think it's easier than typing, I instantly think less of you, intelligent wise. Now I love getting a voice message from my girl or my family makes the convo more genuine and feel more personal rather than just words on a screen. I miss hearing her voice though and I don't want to call. Said the person that prefers a never-ending text exchange. Is it worse than people who have private conversations in public on speakerphone though? Or does all shit smell the same? I use voice notes exclusively with people I talk to daily. They love it. I get a lot communicated in little time. But with strangers and people I don't talk with often, I stick with regular texting. I think it's about context and less about the tool itself. Would you believe there are still some people who are don't have smartphones and b don't know how to text, or still prefer voicemail? Trust me, there are still quite a few of these folks around, mainly older, but by no means dumb. Sometimes you need them more than they need you, so if you value the relationship like your doctor or your chief engineer accept that not everybody uses the phone the way you do, and don't forget to check your voicemail. I come from the generation that called people who answered the phone so both text and voice messages are annoying. You don't have to find a quiet place. How is listen to a message any different from everyone walking around on call everywhere? Completely agree, it's the epitome of laziness plus those people think your time is less valuable than theirs simply because texting will take them more time but you having to listen to the sound clip will take you more time and gets even worse when you're in public, it's just annoying af. Because of that I usually tell people in the group chat that I will not listen to any of their voice messages, if they want to tell me something they can text it. There's this one guy in my group chats that never texts, he's a fat lazy fuck and I haven't listened to one message from him. I send voice notes that are three minutes long. No I'm not typing that all out. But yeah it's annoying when someone sends a voice note when I'm at work or something. I will definitely not listen to it.